following game is rated M for mature. Parents should be aware that this game contains violence, blood and gore, graphic language, and the use of drugs. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello fellow squeakers and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 The Far Harbor Edition. Well, uh, as you can see, I've kind of popped into a uh, into, into a fight here. Um, I had come back... Hey! Hey! I had come back into uh, Far Harbor, uh, and I, I came straight back into... Uh, I came straight into a... Um, where the heck? Oh, oh wow. Alright, that's where you are. Where are you? Come here, you. I, I came back into a message saying, Hey, you gotta help defend... Sunshine Tidings, so I figured I'd just go ahead and take care of that real quick. Hey, dog meat. Come here, buddy. Um, and so I I, <laughs> I I was just about to start it, and I popped over, and I hit the record button by accident. I figured, eh, what the heck, I'll just start. <laughs> so uh, looks like we're going to have a little bit of behind the scenes here. Um, gosh, what time is it? Seems like it's 7 a.m. Okay. I was going to say, it seems like it's a little... Is that all the bodies? Where's Dogmeat? Oh, there you are. Hey, Dogmeat. Come here, you. Hey. Come here. Move here. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Are you a good boy? Yes, you are. <laughs> I love Dogmeat. He's my dog. Him and I, together, forever. Okay. Um, so, I just wanted to come in here... Um, and, and defend the, the Sunshine Tidings real quick and, and just drop off anything that I might have. Um, I actually had some people tell me, um, I, I, I had a, a person call me, or not call me, message me and say, Hey, Lion, you got to do the Longfellow stuff before you do anything else. You know, just trust me, you got to do the Longfellow stuff. And so I was like, well, uh, Okay. I can I can do that. That's not a problem. Um, you know, whatever, it works. So, what the heck? Let's go and dog me. Dog me. Why do you look, look funny? Alive. Hey, come, come Wait here. Wait there, buddy. Why do you look different? Oh my gosh, you've got pink spots all over you. Dog meat, are you... Are you okay? Dude, you look diseased. You look like you've got some sort of, like, blotches and stuff all over you. Oh no. Is it the cat? Was it the cat? I'll kill you, cat. All right, maybe not. Well, okay, well, we'll, we'll have to make sure you... We, we, we take better care of you, I guess. Maybe I haven't been properly taking care of you. Um, I, maybe I need to change your water and feed you a little bit better. I don't know, but wow, you do not look good, buddy. All right, well, you, you, uh, and I, and I had meant to hit Far Harbor. Um, but, uh, you, you take care of yourself, buddy. I mean, hey, we don't, we don't need to be, we don't need to be losing dog meat. He is my buddy. My buddy. My buddy, wherever I go, he goes. My buddy, my buddy, I teach him everything that I know. Anyway, let's do Mr. Longfellow. My buddy and me like to climb up a tree. Okay, now I've got myself stuck like, with like the My Buddy commercial song in my head. <sighs> something over again ah, I think didn't mean anything by it Mitch I swear her tail's a menace does she even know it's attached to a bleeding hide if you want me to work in this flea ridden bar of yours you'll watch your tongue ah, <laughs> fine <laughs> how can the last plank set you up I tell you the the people who made the the far harbor did a great job with the characters all right Longfellow <laughs> you ready to head to Acadia uh, I am. Let's go. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. All right. So, man, 
Poor dog meat. He's looking rough. All right, let's go to wherever the heck he's taking us. Um, the, no, nobody told me why they wanted me to go with Longfellow. They just said, hey, man, just follow the main quest line, the fog line for a while. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this for the road. Taste foul as sin, but it'll help. Meyer Lurk Jerky. We need to move through the main Old mountain trail. Can you all hear him? Fog ain't like nothing you've seen in the Commonwealth. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all. Actually, speaking of Radaway, um, I'm gonna hit me a Radex. All you need. <laughs> See, the fog can do a number. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Rappers were mean to begin with, but now. Ooh, Radstag meat. Nice. Um, so yeah, I was basically. Uh, they just said, "Hey, look, you know, we've been uh, we've been watching you this whole time. Trust me. Go to uh, uh, go follow Longfellow from the first." You won't regret it. And I, I was like, well, okay. You know, for the most part, you, you know, my viewers have not led me wrong. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Okay. Game trails crisscross the road. So don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. So I guess we're going to Acadia. Um, uh oh. Oh, okay. One for you and one for you. And, ooh, uh, let's do a couple for you. Take them all. Rapid cow- oh. Wolf meat. everything extra meat on that. Still got a ways to go. I don't know that I've gotten wolf meat yet. I don't remember. Have I gotten- have I- have I done wolf meat before? Whoa! Stick to the deep fog. Thus we steer clear. But you never know. <laughs> okay. That didn't sound terrifying at all. No, not at all. When I was a young lad, no higher than you and me, whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. I'm still trying to figure out what that blight is for, but I figure it was put in the game for a reason, so I may as well grab it. Oh, uh oh, oh, wait, I heard something. Yep, that's what I thought. All right, you're too far away to be accurate. And, 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 okay, so maybe two for you, oh, not, not Meyer Lurk, uh, two for you, okay, let's do that, one, two, hi, and, and then, there you are, and, My alert meat. Uh, oh. Sharp. Uh, he, he's saying something, but I can't hear him. Something about a fondness for fresh water. <clears throat> All right. Yes. Ooh, death claw hand. All right. Um, okay, let's get out of here. And then... All right, lead on. Get a reload on here. Keep up, dog meat. I'm worried about you. You're you're not looking so great. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. All right, here we go. One for you, and one for you. 
And one for you. Anybody else? I think that's it. Boom. Boom. And boom. And y'all said something about, like, mainlanders can't do, like, can't take care of themselves. Please. Take it care of these guys better than you are. You think you're so hot. You got nothing on dog meat. Even, even, like, sick dog, dog meat's better than you. You crotchety old fart. Alright. Oop, oh, more blight. Eh. Oh. Hi. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm oh, me. Oh, child of Adam. I am shielded by my faith. She How didn't look good. Bullets? Faith shield you against those too? Uh, who is she? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do hmm. not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Yeah, well, Adam is... Uh, the, you, you, uh, you Adam worshippers are a little weird, but... Okay, well, what'd they do? What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid the condensers? such creatures. And instead, seek the only true master of this land. Okay. Uh, tell me about Adam. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family uh -huh. if he deems you worthy. Well, I'll, I'll grant you that I guess worshippers of Adam would definitely think a place like this would be a holy land. Worthy? Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed... You will be rewarded with entrance into our family. Huh. Well, I mean, I have come across some children of Adam that were, you know, decent people. I mean, not the, not the sharpest tacks in the world, but they're not bad people either. I guess I got nothing better to do? Suppose I got nothing better to do. Huh. Adam usually prefers those with a bit more fervor. <laughs> But nonetheless, if you wish to test his favor, seek the nucleus. If you're oh. done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move. Okay. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. The gate is not too far now. Okay. So I guess I kind of see where uh, why people wanted me to do the main quest for a little while. I'm kind of being introduced to another faction here and i guess a third yeah and i guess acadia too which i guess is their own faction dog meat what's the matter buddy acadia's already been watching us i'll back i'll be back buddy just go inside they'll be waiting for you you need my help again you can now oh outside of far harbor Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> Just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. <laughs> uh, see what happens Leaving next? already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You say that you want me to stick around and watch your back? Um, no. I can handle things from here. Good luck in there. And I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. Um, okay. Started where you belong. Talk to the leader of Acadia. Okay, so Dogmeat was like... Completed walk in the park. Uh, Dogmeat was kind of directing... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Thank you, boy. You are a good boy, even though... You, know, you poor little guy. Damn. 
Can't remember if I had my bath this week or not. <laughs> All right, I just saw. Help Captain Avery, help the Mariner, and help Cassie Dalton. Good grief, everyone wants me to help everybody. All right, well, let's, I guess we'll we'll start with Acadia. Um, they're just kind of making sure here. Anything to loot? Uh... Don't see anything special. And for some reason, the the wind is loud in this game. All right, let's go in. Let us see what we can see in Acadia. All right. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, Raxo. Okay. Nice. Uh, unlock wires. Dog meat, come into the light a second. Oh my god! Dog meat! You... Man, you're looking... You're looking gray, man. Are you okay? Good grief, now you've changed... Your your color is changing badly. Dude, I, I'm beginning to worry about you, man. Are you okay? Oof. Oh, man. First he was looking sick, and, and now his fur is changing uh, into this weird gray color. At least his nose doesn't look so bad anymore. Ah, oh, buddy. Come on. You, you stick by me, okay? I don't want you... I don't want you catching anything. All right. Choir's key. All right, so we... Oh. When I first climbed this mountain... Hi. ...above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace... While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Uh, okay. Wow! What are you? What are you? I told you. I'm the old Synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling. But I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here, and I'll try to help you. Well, he's definitely kind of laid back and calm. Okay. Well, I'm looking for Kasumi. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. <laughs> Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed. And you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, okay. tell me, do you think Kasumi is a simp? Uh, I, I have no idea. Why? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this okay. transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, okay. if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Huh. You know, I, I guess I never really thought about it. Although it doesn't make any sense that, it, uh, that I would be a synth. I mean, I woke up inside... Take your time. Yeah, shut up, dude. Um... I mean, I woke up inside uh, the freezer, that little freezing pod thing, um, and I had been there before, so, I mean, it would make sense that I... I mean, I was there before. There weren't synths back when I was first frozen. But then again, I guess there is the possibility that since Careful Kellogg had words. been there before... Admirable. Um, 
it could possibly be that the last time that 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 Kellogg like tranked me somehow and 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 switched me for a synth. No, but that doesn't make any sense because if I was, father would have said I something. Do. All right. Dude, shut up. I'm thinking, okay? Um it father would have told me or Kellogg would have told me. I there's been no, I'm human. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? Yes. I don't mean to question you. But what's the first memory you have? Uh, I was with my family the day the bombs fell. You first? Ooh, you first! I'm not gonna tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory. In the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then... I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify <coughs> where they are, how to find them. But I do remember being quite... content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's he—he he must have been rescued by the by the railroad, and maybe he was one of the early rescues of the railroad or something. Um, I was with my family, or the day the bombs fell. Um, I was with my family. I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <sighs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like huh. a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Yeah. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Very interesting. I kind of like how they're doing that because it does seem like the, when the game first starts, you're sort of in an idyllic setting and it is a little surreal. Um, and then all of a sudden you're kind of thrust into the into this uh, post-apocalyptic world. That's interesting. Okay, where's Kasumi? I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. <laughs> Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? Uh, what's your story? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago. Hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task, no false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Okay. Well, I am not in the Brotherhood. As far as I'm concerned, the Brotherhood is dead to me. Institute destroyed. Know. The Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? <clears throat> but that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. 
Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? Very pragmatic. Um, I'm in the railroad. Um, yeah, okay. I'm in the I'll railroad. The group that helps since the railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yeah, you know, yes, I don't like that either. Yes, for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. Yeah, but the but cost. The cost. I yeah. know how frightening it is, the risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are? Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm with you too. See, I maybe don't want our help. Are you saying you don't want the railroad's help? It's not about that. It's about how you've let fear blind your cause. You know, I. See, that's that's the reason why I didn't join the railroad, uh, like f fully go railroad either. I didn't like that very much either, so... I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm sorry. So am I. Your heart is in the right place. <clears throat> and it's unfair of me to judge. While I enjoy relative safety from so far away. Was there anything True else words. I can do for you? Um, you're all synths? So, everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. Hmm. Nothing else. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming. You, you stay right there. Okay, now I've got more. Help Chase and Help Faraday. Holy cow, I'm I'm just getting all sorts of everything, aren't I? Okay, uh, give you dinner tray. Uh, let's see. Oh, hi. Okay. Hey, you, Faraday. <clears throat> so, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. You're a synth? So, you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. There's so many things to keep track of. Okay, so you do this yourself? You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. But no one else really understands Dima the way I do. Fog condensers? Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when we came clear the fog was only getting worse. And they're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Okay, Dima's arguments. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, We've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, Interesting. isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. Yeah. So he was a prototype and he's kind of been expanded upon by this guy. And now this Dima guy is like the leader of this group? I wonder if this guy is like a 
a uh, like a, a Jafar oh to to the you? to the Sultan. Hmm. I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy. Offer to help. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here, so... Does this sound like something you could handle? Sure. Uh, what happened? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? I, that's interesting that that had to be a like a charisma check to get him to explain. Hmm. Well, I've got I've got it covered. Sure thing, Faraday. <clears throat> I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Started data recovery. All right. So who are you? You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. Thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. Um... Do you think you could do better? So, you're saying you could have done a better job of it? Didn't know it was a competition? Yes, absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? Well, aren't you threatening? How do you find them? How do you manage to track <coughs> down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. What's your story? So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Uh, tell me about Arcadia. Tell me about Arcadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. Hmm. I want to help. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island. So you may be decently equipped to handle it. Okay, what's the problem? What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive. And he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him. And I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. Okay, you got any leads? Do you have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. A synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Okay, hold on. Did you need something? I want to help. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? You're already taking care- Oh, okay. Just in case. All right, so there's... Why? Wait, what? Why did it... Oh, downstairs. Oh, downstairs. Um... Okay, there is... This is a big spot. Uh, tell you what, guys, I think I'm just going to end the episode here. 
Um, and I'll pick up the exploration of Acadia and the whole Kasumi situation. Something? Do you mind? I'm trying to do an outro. Um, I I'll kind of do the whole Kasumi situation. Y'all are hurting my feelings. All right. <clears throat> anyway, I'll pick up the Kasumi, the the Kasumi thing, and uh, continue the exploration of Acadia in the next episode. So far interesting um we have some strange development with dog meat here i don't know why all of a sudden he's changing uh he's changing on me it's like all of a sudden he went from he he, he got sick and and then all of a sudden he's this weird kind of gray color look at him look at him look at this go there uh, i mean he's kind of this weird gray color now i don't know what happened here uh but I guess we'll 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 try to figure out what's going on with with dog meat in the meantime. And can I get out of this? Thank you. Um, and then of course we will cancel. And then we will uh, of course figure out what's going on with Acadia. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this particular episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me out so very much. For those of you who are regular viewers of mine, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and sharing my videos on your social media. I truly appreciate it when you do. And for those of you who already support me in all the ways that you do, thank you guys so very much. You guys are extremely cool, and I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are cooler than this uh, uh, than Acadia. Like an underground secret synth layer. Well, I don't know if it's a layer since these guys don't appear to be bad guys, but you know, it's it's cool. I like the I like the dynamic of it. So far, Far Harbor has been really, very very like evocative in its feel. I really like it. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on. Dog meat? I really need to find out what the heck is going on with you. Oof.